happy to be here and very excited because the film releases finally after four years of a journey across festivals and then having won the national award. Who are these people? I'm an artist. I live a life fully and create beautiful music, make my own videos, I've made my own film. Happy to be here and very excited because the film releases finally after four years of a journey yeah. across festivals and then having won the national award. Mm -hmm. But uh, the most exciting part is when you can show your film to your own country, mm -hmm. to the audience that listens to your music and hopefully uh, listens to your voice even outside of music. So yeah. I think India is going to get to watch it and that's what's exciting me the most. And uh, there must be lot many efforts and challenges that you might have faced before making or during the making of the documentary. Were there? It's always a challenge to set up a project uh, which is I think first of, it, first of its kind. Although saying so myself is makes me very immodest but I'm okay being immodest on this. Mm -hmm. uh, documentary as a genre in India first of all is not really that understood. It's seen as some, you know, very elite uh, set of people make it and it's seen in festivals. Mm -hmm. But in the pandemic, I think a lot of new kind of content became very popular mm -hmm. thanks to the, uh, you know, uh, so the tastes have changed. I think India is very young. Uh, my film has, uh, I think, used to make a lot of people laugh in all the theatricals that we've had across the world. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, firm belief that India is going to enjoy it. Uh, not only for its, uh, I mean, the narrative that it has, but it also has a lot of music. Mm -hmm. It also gives you a window into a female artist's uh, journey. That journey uh, includes a lot of navigation mm -hmm. because you are being pushed back all the time because the opportunities that are there for you are kind of always secondary to the men artists. Uh, there is a compromise, uh, you know, that you keep thinking that you are being put under. But having said all that, I did make a film, it is getting released and there is a music album coming out with Z Music alongside and I'm getting to sing the kind of songs that um, I truly believe in. So it's Desi, it's Roots, I'm in Delhi so I can say uh, the Nizamuddin Darga is a very important part of my film. Um, women haven't been allowed to sing there for over 800 years. Kavali Hoti, it's very popular, you know, for the Thursday Kavalis. And there is a beautiful scene. I mean, people have told me that it is amongst the most moving scenes in the film. Mm -hmm. So I hope everybody gets to see it. And I'm putting out, in fact, the first song that is coming out in the album tomorrow is Kalam hai, but uh, you know, I perform it with my band, it's a rock band. We and I'm proud to say I made a proper music video and not just disco ke andar ghuske sab naach rahe, jo aajkal hook step ka zamana hai. Har jan chata hai ki hook step aise bane ki sab reels hamare gaan hook step pe banaye. My songs have no hook step, they're all songs. <laughs> but I still uh, hope it hooks the country to start with. That's a cheesy joke. Oh. <laughs> but yes. So the documentary uh, focuses on um, misogyny that is prevalent in the industry as well as in the country. What are your take and how does this documentary focuses on? You've given the question and the answer. I, I honestly, that's one side of the film. Mm -hmm. Gender politics is a thing. Mm -hmm. It's a window into the music ecosystem. Uh, in our industry where the opportunities for women voices are very few. They are secondary and it was not the case 15-20 years ago. It's become like that in the last decade and a half which makes it very startlingly disturbing. Mm -hmm. You feel you are becoming more modern as a country or are you regressing when it comes to the entertainment industry? Mm -hmm. Because the number of songs for women have gone down dramatically. They are in single digits. Out of 100 songs, not more than 8 or 9 songs in the mainstream have a female voice. It's something nobody has noticed and that is shocking. The fact that I have to keep talking about it in every interview and say, listen to radio. Please see that there are no solo female songs being made. Shreya Ghoshal and Sunidhi Chauhan of 20 years ago and maybe Neha Kakkad who is known because she's sitting on Indian Idol and very hardworking on social media. 
doesn't make for the fact that we have 100 male stars we have every two years a big male star mm -hmm. and uh, we have very few women uh, artists and if this is the case in the entertainment industry which is known supposed to be more broad minded mm -hmm. you know what would be the case in the rest of the uh, country so i just think it's uh, there are a lot of worthy things to talk about. At the same time, there is a lot of music and there's a lot of exploration and travel in the film. Mm -hmm. So the gender aspect of it or stuff that I talk about is one layer of the film. But yes, it is the heart of the conflict. Yeah. Yes. So Sona, do you, uh, you are very much open about whatever you think. You put it on social media and everything. Once uh, when you put your thoughts out about Salman Khan's statement. It's a whole story. I don't want to even talk about Salman Khan. So, uh, I mean, why to flog a old horse? You've all read the story, you know what I've responded. What is there to talk about? Okay. So there is a school of thought that believes that you have an opinion on each and everything. Do you think that if uh, you represent your views on each and everything, people will take you lightly or rather won't consider your opinion? Who are these people? I'm an artist. I live a life fully and create beautiful music, make my own videos, I've made my own film. The things that I've talked about, beat what you brought up, although it's an old thing, I, beat that, beat somebody talking like a bigot, beat somebody uh, praising a misogynistic theme in a film and thinking stalking is fine, beat uh, someone saying I walk like a raped woman and that uh, joking about raped women. These are the things that I've uh, raised as an issue. You know, be it somebody lip syncing in a concert or be it actors saying they will open for a big international band when there are musicians who should be singing on the stage. You have Sonakshi Sinha and Farhan Akhtar who are supposedly opening for Coldplay. These are the issues I've talked about in a country like ours. All of you should be talking about such things. You should be raising these points. And this is my, I mean, probably at the end of the day, I don't want to sound agitated, but I really feel that there have to be more opinion pieces in the media. Why aren't there more opinion pieces? Why is it only around the politics or, you know, of the land? Popular culture, pop culture is affected hugely by music, by the entertainment industry, by how women are portrayed in films, how men are shown to be the only ones having swag. Why is it that all the Punjabi songs are about Tujhe Gucci Prada Dilaunga, Tujhe Shopping Karaunga, Aurathe, are they so easy to buy? shopping kara ke aap mere pocket mein baith jaoge ya tu mujh pe marti hai mujh pe jaan jhadakti hai tu to genda dikhta hai ve tere pe kyon marti hu main ladkiyon ki awaaz kahan hai ki ladkiyan kya bol rahi hain hamare popular culture mein kya bol rahi hain ladki main sundar hu main aapko rijhane aayi hu that can't be the only voice that women have in such a big country i think there are powerful things to be talked about even from a feminine perspective mm -hmm. they don't have to be angry they don't have to be mujhe kya bechega rupaiya incidentally that's one of my biggest songs Young men write to me. Babul pyare sajan sakhare suno meri maya. Bojh nahi mein kisi ke sar ka na majdhar mein naya. Patwaar banungi hi lehro se ladungi. Arey mujhe kya beche gaha rupaya. Ye gaane mein koi promotion nahi hua tha, koi radio play nahi hua tha, koi film fair award nahi mila tha. I had no one backing it. One play out on a television show on a Sunday morning in a depressing, uncool topic like dowry. But India loves this song, not only girls but boys. So I think we need to have many more different kind of musical voices. We need to have these conversations. I don't have to feel defensive or being made to feel bad that you opine about everything. Thank goodness I do. Many more should be. Not only to show that they have opened some human uh, being, human organization to for virtue signaling. You don't have to do that. You need to walk your talk every day in terms of what you believe in, what you stand for. And I am taking the risk. I am getting the pushback. I would have been isolated. But I also find a lot of incredible allies. I find people who I think celebrate what I am and what I stand for. So which is the reason why a film is getting released in a country like ours. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Speaking about your documentary, how do you think the documentary will influence the music artists coming and coming of age people? To start with, I think many more will make such documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a lot of me too. <laughs> in this 
but I'd like to place it on record. I'm the first. Mm -hmm. So I take pride in saying that uh, it's the first of its kind. But at the same time, I think that's jokes apart. That's mm -hmm. being very pompous. Uh, which an artist can afford to be, you know. I have mood swings and I seem to be having a lot of them right now. I'm just out of COVID by the way. So, uh, if anybody says that COVID is like a viral fever, it's not. It really saps you out like nothing else. Um, having said that, I think uh, we are living in better times. I think things are getting better. There is a Gunit Monga, there is Shonali Bose making films, there are uh, you know, there is a Anushka Sharma who is turned producer. Uh, there are women who are doing stuff, you know, owning their place in the power chain. So I think things are getting better. I think uh, to whatever extent there was a Me Too movement which made people much more aware about how to talk about women, how to behave with them in the workspace. As a overnight, koi hatkadi leke unko Hindi film style jail jane ki zarurat nahi hai. There is there's a change that is happening. That is happening because there are people like me and others like me, I'm not the only one, who want to stick their necks out, who are okay with irritating a bunch of people, but who want to make a change happen, a good change. So, uh, since your movie is uh, documentary is coming on OTT platform, how do you think OTT platforms has provided artists like you a platform to express themselves? This is the same question, but there is also an answer. What do you think about it? You have to answer it. What do you think about it? But I think uh, the range of content coming out, mm -hmm. there is no Friday mafia, mm -hmm. where the pressure is about conjured up numbers and whatever else. Mm -hmm. There are some stories that are slow burns. Mm -hmm. They don't have to immediately deliver on one night for it to be a success and I think it's wonderful, it's time for storytellers, it's the time for you know, uh, I won't say experiments, I would say for braver narratives, for different kinds of narratives and I hope it will go for a more creative uh, time in the coming years. Alright, that's all for today, it was really nice speaking to you Sona and uh, her documentary is coming on 1st of July, sure, people please watch it and thank you, that's all. Hi everyone, I'm Sona Mahapatra and you are watching News 18 Shosha. Please like, subscribe and tune in to Shosha.